everybody, Josh here for Android Authority yet again, and I wanted to show y'all uh, one of my favorite Twitter apps, probably my favorite, the one I'm using regularly now. Uh, it's called Tweet Lanes by Chris Lacey. Some of you have probably heard of him. Uh, this launcher, excuse me, not launcher, uh, Twitter app actually came out a little while ago, but I just started using it. I was never really a big Twitter user, and once I got back into writing, I figured, well, I should get back in again in case somebody tweets me something really important. Uh, you'll see right here, it's got just the coolest icon, this very happy looking blue bird he's on what appear to be three orange lanes uh, but when you open it up you'll really see why I have fallen in love with it right off the bat it is you know the ice cream sandwich jelly bean uh, Android design guidelines top to bottom uh, we've got all of the hollow themed swiping that you need and it's really 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 uh, buttery smooth some might say uh, he also incorporated a feature called Vol Scroll or Vol Scroll, Volume Scroll. Uh, he said it's great for bigger screens, so you can use the volume keys to actually scroll up and down one tweet. Now, I'm still an old school touch guy, so I go up and down, but you'll see that it's, it's very, very quick. Um, up here, you can tap this. Uh, I've got my Twitter account added at Josh Munoz. Uh, you should certainly add me. I'm trying to become a more active user. You can add an account so you can support multiple accounts, which is very, very cool. Uh, swipe over and you can see your profile if you choose to enable that, uh, my location, my link, all of that stuff. Uh, hopping into the settings menu, this is where it really, really gets great. Uh, I also recommend if you use it now, do free for life. He says, Chris Lacey, the developer, says, as uh, development continues, some premium features are going to be added in. But if you get in early enough, those premium features will be free to you if you simply tap free for life and send out a tweet uh, that you know promotes and talks about it. Anyways, hopping back into the settings menu, uh, we can do hollow light or hollow dark themes, which is very, very cool. Now, this is one of my favorite, favorite parts of Tweet Lanes, the customized lanes option. Um, every swipeable uh, you know, section uh, in this app is called a lane. So you'll see that the ones that I have enabled are my profile, mentions, direct messages, and favorites. But you can really enable any combination of these, your tweets, Tweets that have been retweeted, you can't ever disable a timeline, duh. Uh, and following and followers. So let's just do my tweets and retweets of me, which are probably not many because I'm not super active yet, as I've mentioned before. But all of a sudden, here are my tweets, just my tweets, and a couple of them talking about tweet lane you just saw. Uh, and then retweets of me. Oh, really liking tweet lanes. That was uh, retweeted. That's great. And so those are in front of the timeline. Now, one thing I would like to see is being able to rearrange the order that the lanes are in. But I would imagine that this is a pretty logical order. Your profile, your tweets, retweets of you, and then you're at the actual timeline, which is where things get great. Uh, also, following the great hollow design guidelines is if you tap the top of the lane, you hop all the way back up to the top, which is just great. So let's turn off these ones that I never, ever use. Done. Uh, font size, very standard stuff here. Profile image size, medium. For me, tweet source I have disabled, but you can display the name of the application. Just like when you're looking at twitter.com, uh, it'll tell you what the person used to tweet. I have enabled vol scroll, which I debuted or I demonstrated earlier. Quote format, you can do standard quote, retweet with a comment or via at that person's Twitter handle. Uh, you can download images. Let me scroll down and see if I can find an example of this. So, Blaze, this guy right here. I uh, might grow up someday, but not today. And he's used Instagram to upload a photo. So it actually shows a small preview. And then when you tap it, it makes the uh, image preview larger, which is a really, really cool feature. And I haven't even gotten to the coolest feature yet, which is what I've been saving for the end. Uh, you can empty the image cache right there. Uh, filter feed, so you can hide replies or hide retweets. Uh, I choose to do neither. But at the bottom, this is where tweet lanes really get special. There's not a new tweet box. Now, obviously, I can do a new tweet from this box. It says, what's happening? But it's actually a context-sensitive tweet box. Uh, so I'm at, if I long press on this guy, for example, I get a new context-sensitive menu. I can retweet it. I can favorite it. I can share it through some form or fashion. But the context-sensitive box actually lets me reply to him just by long pressing on his handle. Now, if you want to send a, a certain tweet or a reply to more than one user, you can actually long press more than one at a time. <gasps> Let's make sure this works because I know I've done it before. So we can do at IGN. Let's do... Come on. 
at Blaze. And right there, reply to at IGN and at Blaze, which is very, very cool um, and really, really makes this, in my opinion, one of the best Twitter clients on Android, if not the best. The one thing that I do have to knock it for is that there aren't notifications built in yet. But as Chris Lacey has been working on a new kind of uh, launcher called Action Launcher, I believe, uh, he hasn't been developing actively on this. And he says that as soon as Action Launcher comes out into a public beta, we will see notifications be coded into tweet lanes. So very, very cool Twitter app. If you're looking for something new and fresh and really want something that will use the design guidelines that Android has set forth, it is free, it is called Tweetlanes, and you can find it in the Google Play Store.